Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of our productivity demo, Microsoft OneNote, Basics and Beyond. This is a six part demo, so please come back and check out our other videos on this topic. Or find other events and videos at Microsoft.com WAC IT Showcase. And now, on to part 5. The next item we want to talk about is, well, we've been talking about OneNote directly with me just using it personally. I have it stored on my hard drive. I'm the only one that can access it. I can't share it out with anyone else. How do we make it avail available out to everyone? So everyone that I want to make it available to. Well, the, the power that we get from sharing it out to OneDrive and storing it there is the ability to share with other people and collaborate with them effectively. So not only can we share it with them to view only, we could actually give them some edit access as well. And then that would allow them to go in and make changes as needed. So how do we store out to our OneDrive? What I'm going to do is I am going to go back to my OneNote notebook, and I'm going to show you how I can identify where my OneNote notebook is located, first of all, but I'm also going to show you how you can move it out to your OneDrive for Business safely and securely. So right now, if I hover over my notebook name, I can see right below Brian Notebook, it says Documents, and then OneNote Notebooks. I know that it is stored directly on my hard drive. If I right click on my notebook name and then go down to Properties, I can see again where the location is. Right now it's Documents, OneNote Notebooks. This is where I can change the location of my OneNote Notebook. If I were to click on Change Location, now I've synced my OneDrive personal down to my hard drive. So that means I can easily access it from the quick links along the left-hand side. So down on the left-hand side, I can see there's my OneDrive dash personal. If I were to click on that, it would access my OneDrive out in the cloud. So again, this is associated to my live ID, um, and it's free. You, you have a, I think you have five, five gigabytes of storage out there for free if you have a live ID. So again, take full advantage of this because the real power from OneNote is not only from your usage, but the ability to collaborate and share with others as well. Because what good is my family notebook if I'm the only one in my family that has access to it? I want to be able to share it with them and work off of the same one together. So in that case, I'm going to click on OneDrive Personal and I'm just gonna save it directly to my OneDrive Personal there. I'm gonna click Select and you'll see in just a second it says OneNote is syncing changes. And in just a second, it will package it up and say, hey, your notebook is now syncing to the new location. So if I click OK, I can see there's a little sync icon right next to my notebook title. If I hover over my notebook title again, I can see right below Brian's notebook, it says OneDrive dash personal. I now know that my notebook is out in the cloud. If I right click on my notebook again and then go down to properties, again, I can see where that location is. Now again, the real power of having our OneNote notebook out in the cloud is the, the ability to access it from any device. Now, the real benefit of having, having our OneNote notebook out into our OneDrive is the ability to access it from any device, right? So, on any of our devices, on any of our phones, we have the ability to download the OneDrive app. The OneDrive app is free across all devices, so definitely go out and, and make full use of it. You open up the OneDrive app, you can then go directly log into your OneDrive and access your OneNote notebook. Now the real benefit of this is, any changes I make directly to this OneNote notebook on my laptop will then sync across to my phone, it will sync across to my wife's laptop, it will sync across to her phone. So again, it will be available across any device. So that's the real magic of having this in one location. We're at the end of part five. We hope you enjoyed it. Check out part six where Brian walks us through how to share and collaborate with OneNote 2016. IT Showcase has events scheduled every month where you can get your questions answered live. We hope you'll join us again and bring your colleagues. You can find our schedule of upcoming events as well as on-demand videos and other content at microsoft.com WAC IT Showcase. Thanks again.